Hey there everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games in Shanghai and YouTube. Hope everyone's having a great weekend and relaxing and, and feeling good and as happy as I am today. So um, what I'm going to do today is a developer diary video uh, on a game that we released recently called Super Bug Killer. And uh, the developer diary video is not a tutorial video, uh, so it's not really meant for people to follow along as such and, and actually type in and copy the code on your side on your uh, Mac or PC uh, but more just to show you the development process but you might also get something out of this in terms of if you see the code and and uh, you might be able to copy it or, or you might be able to, to perhaps see uh, how to do something inside of Unity that might help you guys so you know just so you know, it's not a tutorial, it's a developer diary, but hopefully you guys will get something out of this as well. Um, if not, just a little bit of entertainment, who knows. So, anyway, so this is the game here, and this is actually the, the, the shop scene. Uh, so Super Bug Killer is kind of like a, a Fruit Ninja game. Uh, that was the inspiration, and I'll just quickly play it for you here so that you can see. So this is the main menu scene here. Uh, click on play. It's going to be slow because of the, uh, the recording software. But what you've got to do is slice these flies and don't let them pass. But don't hit these ladybugs, you can you let those, those, those cute ladybugs go past. But slice these flies, ah, it's going so slow. It's a lot smoother when it doesn't have the, the recording software on, by the way. And that's the goal anyway, so if I let one of these flies go past, uh, it becomes game over and then you know, on iPhone you'd actually get a pop-up saying oh game over here's your score here's your high score and then it goes back to this uh, this sort of shop scene here where you can buy items so what we wanted to do today is this game's already released it's already on the iPhone market but one of the problems that uh, uh, that we've had is with this initial release of, of uh, super bug killer the the downloads were just not high at all uh, and I think one of the reasons is uh, is because of the uh, recently that Apple had changed their searching algorithm and I think that's affected a lot of smaller developers and so uh, people aren't able to find the the uh, smaller games as much, they're, they're less discovered. Uh, the top games in the top 100 or top 25 are, are become much more discoverable. So that's that's a little bit, bit of a problem and so I think playing around a little bit with say descriptions or keywords is, is important so that people do discover the, uh, the game a lot more. So here at localytics, localytics.com, this is our uh, tracking uh, tracking uh, site and tracking uh, plugin for iPhone and, and iPad games. So this shows all of our statistics and you know how many downloads and how many sessions we've had each day. So I, I totally recommend this, by the way, guys, localytics.com, uh, and you can put that in. We use um, we use plugins from Prime Thirty One inside of Unity, uh, P R I M E three one dot com. And if you go to their site and download some plugins, I highly recommend them. They're really good. Uh, so we use their plugin. So if I go to uh, Cut the Tiny Fly Wings, that was the original name. So I'll open this and I'll just see, just to sort of demonstrate the, the statistics here. Uh, and this is actually the first time I've shown a Localytics uh, page on, on a video. So you guys are getting some maybe some really good, I don't know, really interesting information or just sort of an insight into how some of our games uh, go in terms of downloads. So if I go to, uh, I think the most clear one, if I go to usage and then click on uh, users and sessions, then if I go to the new users, what we'll see is how many new users we're getting each day. And it's a little bit slow. Sorry, my internet is crazy slow at the moment. This is uh, this past week. Um, it's kind of public knowledge, but uh, I think I think something to do with the the Chinese government recently. They're doing the much more stringent checks on what people are surfing for and, and what people are looking at. So it's kind of slowed down the whole internet. Uh, it drives me crazy, but anyway, we'll, we will survive. So anyway, um, uh, so oh, sorry, I wanted to click on new versus returning, so we can see the new the new users that have downloaded the game and, and the ones that are returning as well, because users here this users and sessions just combines both the old users and the new users together. So if I click on new new and returning and then users, I can see new users here. So you can see here like 
the initial release was on November the 4th. We got a huge boost, just not huge to be honest. Um, since iOS 6 was released, uh, I believe they took away the new releases section. Uh, and I've not actually used an iOS 6 device yet. Like iPhone 5 has iOS 6 on it. But I believe from what I've read is that they've taken away the new releases section completely. Which uh, is is just ridiculous in my opinion because a lot of independent developers do rely upon that initial new releases section as an initial boost. So originally we used to get like a thousand downloads on the first day and then it would drop down dramatically to say 600, 200 and then it would level out. Now, I mean, we're looking at this 158 downloads in one day, uh, probably because of users who are still on, say, iOS 5.1 or, or one of the previous iOS versions. Uh, but then we're going down, and then we've got 59 uh, on a Friday, and then on yesterday, Saturday, November the 10th, we got 59 downloads. That's really low. Um, you know, I think the goal, sort of as an independent developer, is if we aim for, like, say, 500 downloads a day, say compared to our other games that would be great uh, so one of the problems is keywords and the other problem is uh, the moment that we need to put more in-app purchases in the game so that's that's uh, really low uh, the returning users okay so we've had around 68 77 returning users which is pretty good uh, which shows basically that the game is is enjoyable and people are coming back to the game um, so this is always a challenge for independent developers is, is how to monetize how to make money from the games and how to get them discovered. Uh, it's it's probably the biggest challenge uh, in my opinion. Uh, actually having an idea and having a good game is incredibly important uh, and, and people can make good games of course that's not that's not the issue but actually making money on the games is is an issue especially if you're running a business and, and you want to keep it you know up and up and up and, and growing. So I don't think the problem with Super Bug Killer is actually the the icons or anything or the screenshots I, you know, personally, I think the icon is kind of interesting. It looks kind of cool. It's cute. Um, I think it's kind of bright and vibrant. And also, the the name of the game isn't too, uh, you know, it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's not the greatest name in history, of course. But I think Super Bug Killer is is kind of descriptive. Uh, Fly Slice as well. So I don't think that's the problem. I think one of the the problems is the keywords and also that we need to update it to include more in-app purchases. So if I click on the, the current version here in iTunes, um, and hopefully that will pop up in a second. And whilst we're waiting for that, I'll just explain. So what I want to do, is it, hopefully hopefully today I can get this finished uh, fairly quickly because I'm, I'm used to doing updates quite fast now, uh, is what we want to do is basically include more in-app purchases. Um, so right now in the shop scene, what we have is 100 bees that costs uh, 99 cents. 500 bees that costs, I think that's $2 or $3. Um, and I think 1,000 bees costs $5. So what we want to do is I want to actually add a new row of bees here at the bottom. Uh, so I want to get uh, 5,000, 10,000, and then 20,000, roughly those numbers. Um, and the reason is that uh, as, as, a, as a game developer, always have, always have an upsell. You've probably played games like, say, Simpsons, Tapped Out, or Japan Life. Now, these are huge games. These are, these are uh, developed by big companies with a, with a lot of people and the in-app purchases in their games are, are quite large I think I saw on The Simpsons like an $80 uh, purchase so uh, obviously obviously most the mass majority of people will not purchase an, an $80 uh, batch of donuts in, in Simpsons tapped out but every now and then you will get somebody that comes along who loves the game who really wants to, to be number one who wants to build the biggest town or reach the top level in the leaderboards uh, and they will purchase an $80 uh, in-app purchase and they're, and they're happy to do so and that's great so you should always have the option in the game is have the the 99 cents ones but then have the high high uh, cost ones which might be $80 or $30 or whatever whatever you decide to include so okay so the icon is there and then I've also got to update these so this is the description of the game I think the, the screenshots are are quite good actually. I think it's kind of interesting these these screenshots. They look there's a lot of blood splats. There's a lot of uh, bright colours. There's obviously the sword slice on there. So I don't think the screenshots are actually that uh, are the problem here. But they they can always be updated and improved. Um, and then but the keywords here do need to change. I don't think these keywords were very effective. And uh, and just so you know, this is actually um, again the first time that you guys have seen keywords on a video. So maybe this will give you some insight into what keywords you can use. Uh, 
so I'm being very open and, and hopefully giving you guys something useful here and see what works and what doesn't work. Anyway, so let's go back to Unity. So I think the first thing that I want to do is basically update these uh, these in-app purchase buttons here. So uh, if you guys are familiar with Unity, the ones that are you know, this is. I guess this is more for you on the coding side, but uh, and on the development side. But I think for people who are new in, to game development or to Unity in general, uh, sorry, to game development in general or to Unity, I think you know this might be interesting just because you'll see how uh, the development process works. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to repeat these down. Now I've got to squash these, sort of put these all together in a way that they don't sort of get too squashed. Uh, I'm not going to give any in-app purchase update. I'm not going to give any new items at the moment um, because a part of a, a part of our business model is to get updates and games done quick. We we can't spend a lot of time doing games as an independent developer. Unfortunately, you know um, that's the way it is at the moment. Is basically we have to release games fast. Um, it's not the the greatest thing in the world, in my opinion, as a, as a creative, you know, as being creative people that we are at Cobble Play, which is which is the game game side of the uh, the game studio side of our business. Uh, we want to spend a lot of time on games, of course. We want to polish, 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 and make the greatest game in the world, and everyone loves it. But in reality, because of the amount of games and applications that are being pushed out there constantly, and the high high quality games uh, from studios that can spend a lot of time uh, and and polish and testing and marketing on games. It, it, we have to change our business model a little bit. We can't compete in that area so much because uh, it's super high risk. We have to get games out there fast and they have to be done um, in a way that can be built quickly and updated quickly as well, which is what we do. But people enjoy the games, they're free, and we often get four and five star ratings. So uh, we must be doing something right. But you know, at the same time, we do want to spend more time on games and hopefully in the future, once we, once we expand and grow and things become more successful, we can do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this here. Uh, this this is the this get bees get 100 bees text and the wood board behind it as well. So I'm just gonna click Command and C, Command and V, click Enter, and I'm gonna rename this. And I'm gonna make this to I think I'm gonna make this to let's say 5,000 bees. I'm gonna test this. Uh, I don't have the exact numbers right now, by the way. This has sort of just come out of my head, and then and then. Uh, as I as I was sort of like thinking last night, like how to do this. So, so I'm going to get 100 bees, uh, 5,000 bees. Sorry. Click on the text mesh here, the text section. So I want to update this to delete that. Click on 5,000, and I might have to reduce the text size a little bit. Click enter. So yeah, I think it's a little bit too big right now. Da, da, da. So should um, just move this fly out of the way. I'll just click on him and then drag him up out of the way. I do actually want to keep these boards the same size, roughly. So I might just reduce the text. So if I click on the main parent object, uh, click on R to resize, make that a little bit smaller. Then click on the board, which is a child object. Uh, clicking R again so that I can scale. I just made that a little bit bigger. There we go. So it's roughly the same size as the one above it, so it kind of looks neat and tidy. Okay. And you see what we're going to have to do is uh, is kind of rearrange all of these things here a little bit. So I'm going to have to move things up a touch. So I'm going to click on this buy items text, click on F, put W to move it up slightly and just put that up there a touch. And then also this, uh, this is the, the how many bees we've collected. Bees are like the currency in the game, basically like the coins. Uh, the more bees that you collect uh, in the game you can buy things. So people don't have to buy bees at all, they, they, they can just sort of swipe them in the game and then that gives them more currency. Uh, but for players who want to get a lot of bees quick, then you can yeah, you can purchase them. 